Well, it looks like I've got a failing thermostat. I have an erratic temperature right now. Uh, it goes up and it usually goes past. When I'm moving, it starts cooling down. But this is a typical uh, symptom of a failing thermostat. And now it's gonna go back down. Uh, anytime it goes over half, uh, I usually uh, think there's something wrong with the cooling system. But at the end of the day, also another symptom which I'm experiencing right now, and it's winter time, I am not getting any heat from uh, the heater. Okay, it's very intermittent. Uh, sometimes I get heat and sometimes it doesn't. That's another symptom of a failing thermostat. Now what's going on is the thermostat is not opening and closing as it should. All right, so now it's gone back down, but only because we are moving. All right, check this out. Look at that. I'm on the road, okay? I'm on the road, it's negative 12 degrees Celsius, right? Not too concerned, it's over, it's way, it's climbing though, it's still, oh my gosh. Holy guacamole. All right, you could, uh, thermostat, you could open now. You could open, come on. Uh oh, now, situations you might need to simply just pull over I'm gonna wait to 125 for some extreme testing see it's going down slowly opening up thermostat is on order from rock auto there you go bucko back down to respectable levels see how there's icy boys on the windshield and we have our icy boy defroster on yeah, because there's no heat going on right now. It's erratic uh, thermostat. So in any case, if you disagree with me that, oh, that's probably a water pump or something else, well, we're gonna find out. So we're gonna switch it out. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, we got our coolant here, all right. There you go. There it is. Bam. Oh, sticky boy. Careful. Filling up the water. Water pump. That's the idea. Get the air out. There you go. There's our new boy. Right. Slide that baby right into here. Alright, look at that. Look at he split. Oh. Throw this guy back on. We're good, we're filled up. All right. Snowy. We got some frost over here. So let's give this a start. Now, what I like to do when we're doing anything with the coolant system is blast, blasters. <laughs> blast the heat, okay? Now, in theory, with the thermostat fixed up, we're gonna get some heat. So let's throw that there. This should, without touching anything, should have all this defrosting. I already feel some heat now. A little bit. All right, let's go check for leaks. It's warm in here. It is warm. Oh man, I will drive without heat for a good, good second. Right here, we're gonna leave it running for a good 20 minutes in the driveway. All right, after the fact, we'll go for a test drive. But if anything were to happen, it'll happen in the driveway. So let it run, let it get up to temp and hold the temp. No erratic stuff like we were experiencing. So we're on high, high. Look, it's already melting, bros. It is already melting. Look at that. 
beautiful. All right. All right. Look at that. Look at it in all its glory. Stabilized temperature. Well below. And look, we got some heat, boys. Oh, heat. Look at that. Heat. Good, we did this in the snow. All right, so now that we've been idling in the parking lot for some time, Go for a test drive. Okay. We're rolling. Rolling, 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 and snowing, snowing, snowing. Just monitor that. Varying speeds, get on the highway, and then that's it. So far, so good. Bros, come on. Give it some onions. Oh. All right. No move. All right, we're back, and it is working great. Stabilized and running a bit cooler. Now we still gotta readjust our fan settings to come out, kick on at an earlier time. But since it's winter time, we could do that later. Right now we tested it, we ran it on that on the driveway, we ran it on the highway, we ran it in town, stop and go traffic, and you know what? Now we are working good. We got some heat back in the Jeep. Uh, the heat works, everything looks like it's working. It didn't explode. Could you believe it? 